Hey guys, welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name is Thomas. In today's video, it's a day in the life as a mobile mechanic. We're going to do about three or four jobs. I'm shooting for about 400 bucks and I want to do it in less than six hours. And we're starting right now. All right, guys, we're jumping right into this. We're already in the car. We're headed to our first job. Like I said, we got three or four jobs lined up for today. Hopefully we make about $400 if we get all the jobs done. And anybody thinking about starting a mobile mechanic business, you should watch this video because if you want to be successful, you got to work hard. And it's like this every day. That's if you want to make money. All right, we're arriving on scene now. He's got a hold of the customer. He's coming out. We're about to knock this out. Got to make sure we have our gun on us, man. Like I said, you got to have protection out here. Don't be stupid. Just carry. So we're going to go ahead and knock this out. We're going to be doing a spark plug and doing the plug wires, doing an oil change for him. Make a couple hundred dollars, only a few hours. Now, these front three spark plugs are pretty easy. It's the ones on the back that give you trouble. Now, when I'm taking these ignition coils off for these ignition wires, I'm using a pair of long reach pliers makes it a lot easier i'll go ahead and put a link in the description they're very handy when it comes to something like this especially if the ignition wires have been on there a long time sometimes they'll actually break from the spark plug or pull apart here we are taking the last spark plug out so we're done with the front now we need to go to the back first thing we need to do is remove this little bracket i think it's two 12 millimeters and then you can remove it and now you can see in the back here the ignition wires and that's where that long reach set of pliers comes in very handy. It helped out a lot. Here we are showing you how to take the spark plugs out. I mean, it's the same as the front. It's just slow moving. There's not a lot of room. The bigger your arms, the bigger you are, the harder this job is. So if you're a skinny person with long arms, it might be a little bit easier. But either way, you can get it done. Now we're just grabbing the last few ignition wires, throwing them on and we'll start the oil change. And when you're changing these wires, you can always look up the firing order or you can simply mark them. Number one, number two, three, and so forth. So you don't mix them up when you put them back on. After that, the last thing you need to do is go ahead and put that bracket back on. Remember it's held on by I think two 13 millimeter. They could be 10, I can't remember at the moment. And now we're gonna start the oil change. So go ahead and get your jack out Make sure you put it on the frame or a hard piece of metal. Make sure you don't put it on anything plastic or actually on the oil pan, nothing like that. Once you get it jacked up, make sure you put a jack stand, at least one jack stand with you. They recommend two. You need three points of contact that's holding the vehicle up. After that, go ahead and grab your 15 millimeter socket and now remove the oil drain bolt and let all the oil go into a bucket. Once all the oil's drained out, go ahead and put the drain bolt back in. Go ahead, torque it down. Make sure it's nice and snug, but don't over tighten it. You don't want to strip it out. Now, after we got this tightened up, now we got to take the oil filter out. Now I'm using an oil filter wrench because sometimes these oil filters are very hard to get off. This oil wrench makes it a lot easier. And every tool that we're using today I'll put a link in the description so you guys can pick it up. All of them are on Amazon and all of them are in stock as well. And here we are filling up the oil filter. Some people don't, some people do. There's cases to be made on both sides. But I always do, I always have. But that's it for this job. We did the spark plugs, we did the spark plug wires, we changed the oil, we changed the oil filter. It took about two hours. And we actually only charged him 200 So he's a repeat customer, so we took care of him. Now we're headed to our second job. This is a buddy's house we're going over to. And he owns a 2008 Cadillac Escalade. And the vehicle won't start. He said he thinks it's an alternator, but I think he's just guessing at this point. So we're going to go over there, do a little diagnosis for him. And we're only going to charge him 30 for the diagnosis. It's usually 60 but... He's a friend of mine, and this is actually going against one of my rules and saying giving discounts or working for friends and family, but I'm making an exception this time. 
And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take this battery out and check the connectors, the terminals, check all that stuff. There's this bracket that goes over it and it's held in by four 13 millimeter bolts. So go ahead and take them out real quick. Once you do, just place it off to the side. Now we're going to take the negative cable off first. It's a 10 millimeter. So go ahead and take that one off. Place it to the side. I'll take the positive off. It's also a 10 millimeter. Now we tested the battery and it tested good. So what we're doing is cleaning it up a little bit. And we're spraying this stuff. It's battery cleaner and acid detector. So it goes on yellow, but if it turns pink, that means your battery's leaking acid. It also cleans and keeps corrosion off. Now we're using this little tool as well. It cleans all the corrosion off and you can actually twist it on the battery and it'll clean it all up and scrape it up, which is what you want just like this. So when you go to put the terminals back on, it'll make them a lot tighter, a lot snugger and just a better fit. So then after you spray it, you just wipe it back off. And then when you go to put the terminals back on or the cables back on, you put the positive first. Remember it's 10 millimeter. Go ahead and snug it down. Then put your negative cable on. Same thing, snug it down. Now we're putting the bracket back on. Remember it's four 10 millimeter bolts. Once you have everything snug down, you go over and try to start this car. Start it up perfect. We saved the money. He only paid $30 for this. All right, guys, we're off to our next job. Remember today we're doing a day in the life of a mobile mechanic. We just took off from our last job. Our next call is a 2006 Lexus GS 300. It's a starter replacement. The book calls for six hours. So it's about 300 is what we quoted him. We got a quote from the local shop of 500 and the dealership from 700. So we're gonna save him a few hundred bucks. It's not going to take us six hours because we've got a little trick that we've learned to cut the time in half. So I'll show you guys this trick. I shouldn't, but I will. All right, guys, we're on scene here at our last job. It's a 2006 Lexus ES 300. Going to do a starter replacement. I think we charged him $200 because after this job for the total, it should be 420 bucks for the day. But as you can see, this job's kind of a pain in the ass. It's very slow, very tedious. And this job actually needs a full video just by itself. Here we are, we had to remove the motor mount to get it out of the way. So we got that part out. And here's the rest of the motor mount right here. And it's held in, I think, by five total bolts. So once you get them out, you can slide out the mount just like that. Yeah, there's five of them. One down there, three up top, and one on the right-hand side there. Now we got all that out, you can get to the starter right there in front of us. First thing we're going to do, do the connector. It's just a push connector. You push in and pull out. And right behind the connector, there's a 10 millimeter nut you need to take off. And then you go ahead and remove that power cord. And then there's only two 15 millimeter bolts holding in the starter. Here's the bottom one that we're taking off. We're zooming in on the top one right there. So go ahead and remove that top one. Now you got them both out. Now you can take the starter out. Match it up to the new one. And just put it in in reverse order, guys. Now we're headed home. Once we get home, we'll count this money. See what kind of day we had. Which ended up being 420, which was our goal. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Do it right now. It's like right here somewhere. There or there. Just push the button. Please subscribe. Trying to get to 2,000. We only got like 10 days to go. So, and I need like 400 people. So please, please. In the comment section, please let me know what kind of giveaway we should do. I'm going to start giving away a few tools maybe once a month. Something like that. But I need to know what you guys think, what kind of giveaway we should actually do. And like always, simplify till next time.